Hello everyone. Today I am here to present my research project on the topic surveillance of SARS-CoV-2 variants of concern from wastewater samples. Before going ahead, I like to introduce myself. My name is Ritu Sharma. I am a MSc Biotechnology student from Amity University, Noida. My field of interest is in genomics and bioinformatics. I have done my research fellowship from Pine Biotech. The objective of my research project is to learn and analyze variants of concerns in wastewater samples and perform MSA and phylogenetic analysis using NGS data employing T-BioInfo server. These are the list of content which are included in the presentation. They are introduction, data overview, exploration, comparative analysis, result, findings, and bibliography. Starting with introduction, the coronavirus, which was the cause of COVID-19 pandemic, which led to deaths of more than 3 million people and worldwide health crisis is mutating at faster rate, and hence it is important to understand its mutation in the genome. The structure of virus has a lipid outer envelope covered with spike glycoprotein. There are two types of protein present in the genome of SARS-CoV-2. One is a structural protein which encodes for four genes, namely E for envelope, M for membrane, S for spike, N for nucleocapsid, gene at 3 prime UTR. The non-structural protein, which is the second type of protein present in the genomes of SARS-CoV-2, majorly are the enzymes or functional protein which are responsible for viral replication and methylation and cause and can influence responses to infection by host. These genes are encoded in different groups, including ORF1A, ORF1B, ORF3A, ORF6, ORF7A, ORF7B, ORF8, and ORF10. The mutated or altered variants are more transmissible, can be more virulent, and has strong ability to dodge the responses of host, and poses greater challenge in clinical and diagnostic management. But not all mutations lead to major protein variations and altering virus infectivity. The data set for different samples taken for various studies are available on NCBI. We first extracted data from bioproject PRJEP4191 from NCBI as our data set for the project. We downloaded this raw data from SRA run table, which contains samples from UK. In the original study, authors performed a longitudinal analysis in the month of March to July in the year 2020 of SARS-CoV-2 RNA prevalence and sewage across six major urban centers in the UK by QRT, PCR, and viral genome sequencing. The result demonstrated that levels of SARS-CoV-2 RNA generally correlated with the abundance of clinical cases recorded within the community, with a marked decline in SARS-CoV-2 RNA abundance following the implementation of lockdown measures. In their study, authors shown that the genetic diversity of SARS-CoV-2 from wastewater suggests that multiple genetically distinct clusters were co-circulating in the local population covered by their sample sites, and that the genetic variants observed in the wastewater reflect similar SNPs observed in contemporaneous samples from cases tested in clinical diagnostic laboratory. Here, we have taken 10 random samples for our study. Then we downloaded a reference genome from NCBI in GenBAC format, which is required for translation of nucleotide to amino acid. This reference genome was the severe acu acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 isolate from Wuhan. This is the SRA run table, which is the data set for our project. 
the 10 data, uh, the 10 samples which are marked in the red box are the 10 random samples we have taken for our study. Then we come to exploration, that is preparation for analysis. We learn that genome seco the different types of genome sequencing that are targeted NGS sequencing. It is a rapid and cost-effective way to detect known and novel variants in selected set of genes or genomic regions. Then is the whole genome sequencing, which provides a comprehensive picture of information in the genome by reading both coding and non-coding sequence. Whole genome sequencing generates more detailed look at information of our DNA. Then we come to whole exome sequencing, which targets the protein coding regions of the genome, providing less coverage. It gives us information about the coding regions of the genome only. Moving on to the variant calling. So variant calling refers to the task of identifying possible variations in the genome or transcriptome sequence with respect to a chosen reference sequence. That there are two types of variant calling. First is a germline variant calling. This is the reference sequence in which the variations are present from the birth. These are not usually taken as the reference sequences. Second is the somatic variant calling. We, these are the variation which occurs with time and these are normally taken as the control somatic cell sample. There are two types of uh, two methods by which the sequence is read. One is paired end. This sequencing is a method in which reads are made from both the ends and of each fragment towards the center of the fragment. Single end sequencing in which each fragment is only read from one end towards the other end. Then we studied about phylogenetic analysis. So it can be performed to understand the relationship among them and their origin. It is typically performed analyzing the genetic and molecular differences between DNA sequencing to determine the evolutionary distance. There are different three representations in the phylogenetic analysis. The one you can see in the picture is a dendrogram. Then mutability in simple terms describe the observed rate of given position to the change or mutate. Differential mutation is an evolutionary algorithm that processes a population of individual represented by dimensional vectors of real numbers. Copy number variation is a phenomenon in which sections of the genome are repeated and the number of repeats in the genome varies between individuals in the human population. These are the various pipelines we, we have run for various analysis. That first one is variant calling, then mutability analysis, then phylogenetic tree analysis and copy number variation. In our project, we will look at phylogenetic tree analysis. Starting For starting our project, we need to follow five steps. First step is to finding the data set, which we have discussed earlier, how to find the data set. We downloaded the SRA run table from NCBI bio project. Then is the running MSA and phylogenetic pipeline using tbioinfo server. For running the pipeline, we have used tbioinfo server and the figure shows the pipeline graph which we used. So following steps need to be followed in, the, or in order to run the pipeline for MSA and phylogenetic analysis. First step is to selecting pipeline and parameters. We select phylogenetic tree option to perform MSA and phylogenetic analysis. Next step is to select the appropriate parameters. We have selected fast Q format as we are taking NGS data. Then we have to upload the data. That is the SRA run table and the reference genome in the respective columns and make the crop. Then we have to create the pipeline. First, we will click on start button. Then we will select the bounty tool under mapping for aligning the reads on the reference genome. 
consensus module and per new module is reselected for generating the consensus sequence from NGS data and to generate per nucleotide position respectively. Then multiple sequence alignment was performed on the consensus sequence that is at nucleotide level and then at the amino acid level. After completing the MSA step, a phylogenetic tree was regenerated using beast speciation birth death process module, which is used by us. There are other methods also, but we are specifically using the beast speciation birth death process. And for ending the pipeline, we will click on the end button and name our file subsequently. Then the second step is finding the lineage of the sample from SARS-CoV, SARS pangolin server. For finding the lineages of sample, we first go to pangolin covlineage.org and we upload the faster sequence for each sample there and click on run. So we get the lineage, closest lineage for each sample. The se next step is to finding the mutation amino acid of the sample. For that, we go to outbreak.info side where we can find the mutation in the amino acid by searching for the specific lineage which we have got for each sample. After that, we can find the mutation in nucleotide sequence of the sample by the MSA table, which we got pro as a result of the MSA yeah. pipeline. Now, let's discuss the result which we have got for different pipelines. The MSA, uh, uh, MSA and phylogenetic tree analysis pipeline gave us this phylogenetic tree, which, uh, which contains the uh, closest evolutionary origin of each sample with the pango lineage written in front of them. We can see samples ERR5019830 and ERR5019834 are in the same clade in phylogenetic tree and have closer evolutionary relationship with the reference genome since common node for both clade also have closest common lineage with B variant. Sample ERR5019835 and ERR5019840 are in the same clade and also share closer distant evolutionary relationship with outgrowth sample and also have closest common lineage with B.1. Other samples, namely ERR5019837, ERR5019839, ERR5019836, and ERR5019838 has different closest lineages as B1, B.1.1, B.1.1, 0.372, B.1.1, and B.1.1. 0.161 respectively and also are in different clade as a result does not have closer evolutionary re relationship with the reference gene. The next result is the mutation in amino acid sequence of samples of different lineages. So these are the five lineages, namely B, B.1, B.1.1, B.1.1, 0.372 and B.1.1.161, which, which we have got for our 10 samples. The result shows that most of the lineage have common mutation in ORF1B, ORF8 and NG. Next result is for the mutation in nucleotide sequence in MSA table. So this is the MSA table and we, uh, we were finding the mutation in this table. We got this, uh, a few major, uh, few major mutation at different position 
At position 3037, the result shows mutation in nucleotide sequence at position 3037 in T and C bases. Also, the coverage for both are given. For both T and C, it is given as 50%. The next position is 9634, where we have got the nucleotide mutation in T and A bases. The coverage for both is given as 50%. The next position at which we have got mutation in nucleotide sequence is at position 14408 in T and C bases. Also, the coverage for T is given as 57.1% and for C, coverage is given as 42.9%. The finding, the key takeaways which we have got from our project is genome, genomic sequencing of SARS-CoV-2 from wastewater has the potential to be valuable tool in population-wide monitoring of circulating lineages. We analyzed UK sewage wastewater sample to assess the SARS-CoV-2 variants. First, we performed multiple sequence alignment and phylogenetic analysis using T-BioInfo server. We observed samples are distributed in three clades, ERR5019830 and ERR5019834 are in the same clade with the reference genome. Sample ERR5019835 and ERR5019840 are in the same clade and also share closer evolutionary relationship with outgroup samples. Whereas samples ERR5019831, ERR5019833, ERR5019836 and ERR5019837 with ERR5019838 and ERR5019839 form a distinct clade. This indicates there are most probably different variants of SARS-CoV-2. Besides, we also assess the number of mutation in the samples in comparison to the reference genome. We observed ERR5019837 have maximum number of mutations, that is 15, followed by ERR5019836, that is 12 mutation, in comparison to the reference genome. While sample ERR5019835 have minimum number of mutations, that is five mutations, and ERR5019830 and ERR5019831 has no mutation. We also got the mutation on gene of samples and we found that most of the mutation is seen on ORF1B, ORF8, and N gene. Finally, to confirm what variants these were, we generated SARS-CoV-2 variant report for these samples. We observed that ERR5019837 contained four mutation of UK variant and two mutations of SA variant, whereas the ERR5019834 sample contains none of the mutations from these variants. Besides, we also analyzed spike protein variants in the sample. Here we found five variants. These are the reference from where we have taken, we have uh, studied for our, bio the, for our research project. Thank you.